Hello everyone, Reza here. Apps need agents. And in this video, we will explore the agentic experiences available for end users of Power Apps. From data exploration, to data entry, to data visualization, to data summarization, these agents are available to empower end user experiences. So let's check it out in action. In my model driven power app, the first agent that we will learn about is the data exploration agent. With this agent, we can now use Copilot and natural language to describe what we are looking for in the data, and Copilot will interpret our intent to provide the corresponding filtered records. Let's give this a try. I have an orders page that lists out details about orders, order number, customer name, payment type, shipment details, and more. I would like to see all the payment types that were made by cash. I type my query in natural language, hit enter, the data exploration agent begins its magic. It's gone ahead and filtered my data to only show the payments that are made by cash. Notice the filter that it has applied is available right here. Payment type cash. Next one, show payments made by credit. Now notice, although I said credit, Copilot is smart enough to understand that the available options for payment type includes credit card, so it's gone ahead and applied that specific filter. Let's ask it to do more. Show payments made by credit in cities, NY, New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. And on purpose, I'm going to misspell here. I'll hit enter. Natural language understanding of the data exploration agent right here in action. It applies the entire filtering criteria that I defined. Now, as these filters are being applied, I have the flexibility to remove any specific filters of my choice, and the table will automatically update itself. When I select this agent, all my previous interactions with the agent are available for me. So I can pick any of those previous interactions. Plus, as I type, notice it also gives me recommendations. I typed ship and I was about to type city or country. Notice how it recommends me the columns that are matching that name. So let's say in this case, ship city. Again, a recommendation comes up. It understands I'm trying to apply a filtering logic on this. So ship city does not equal let's say Denver. I hit enter, the exploration agent kicks in and goes and applies that specific filter. These filters are actual filters that are being applied to this view. Here, if we go to advanced filters, we can see the filters that have been applied. This creates a view by the agent, which I have the flexibility to save as a new view. This will be a personal view. Here is the saved personal view. Order date, it's a date column. Notice the recommendations are also smart. Order date on or after, let's say March 1st, 2025. Notice how the agent interprets my input and goes and applies that specific filter on that date column. I'll also say sort by order number. In descending order. Here is another page. Inventory transactions. Transactions updated in last two months by quantity 
of the transaction is less than 30. Simple natural language querying to explore the data. Data Visualization Agent Here, Copilot will help visualize our data in the view in the form of a chart experience to help us understand our data more easily. Let's check this out in action. Here in my Active Orders view, we have the Visualize button. I'll select this. Copilot will help me visualize this data. The visualization that it has picked up to begin with is orders by city and payment. Now this visualization, I can change and select from different charting options. For example, here I'll pick bar clustered chart to visualize the data. I can also update the fields for the visualization. Let's say I would like to visualize by payment type, payment type on the Y axis and on the X axis, give me the count of orders. Done. There are four cash payments. There are 17 check payments. These are interactive with the view. If I select this, notice how the view on the right hand side is getting filtered to show me that information. Payment type cash. If I select it again, it removes that filter. The other way around is also true. Here, if I was to filter this, filter by payment type credit card, notice the visual also updates itself. Let's change the visual to a pie chart here. So it's showing me the different payment types and the number of orders in each of those payment types. Now let's work with the data exploration agent. Let's pick one of our earlier prompts. Order date on or after March 1st, 2025. This will apply the filter on the view, but at the same time, it will also update the visual. It changed the chart type to a line chart to better highlight the prompt that I provided. Here it is showing a line chart of the number of orders per month. Let's look at all the orders in June. In fact, we can ask the data exploration agent to create the visual for us. Visualize payments by ship state and show count of orders. There we go. Here comes the visualization. This visualization, we can also copy. This copies a PNG image of that visual that I can take and paste elsewhere. Now, both of these agents, as you're working with it, if you like what you're seeing, go ahead, like it. This is a great way to submit feedback directly to Microsoft. Next is the summary agent. This is an AI generated overview of the key details of the record. This summary is available both in the view experience. I can select the summary agent option for any of the records and it will help summarize the record details for me. Plus, if I go to the main form experience, that same summary information will be available right at the top. These summaries are fully customizable. Imagine a form that has a lot of columns and the end user has to look through all of those columns to get a good summary about the record. This agent can help the end user get the summary right up. How do we customize this row summary? In this case, for my order table, for my order table in Dataverse, under customizations, we have the option for row summary. I already have a summary in place for the order table. Here is my prompt. Summarize as a paragraph the information in the orders table using the following columns 
You can also include related columns from tables for the record with ID, record ID. Record ID is available as an input. And for the knowledge to this prompt, I have the current table available. To get to this, all we have to do in the instructions is put a slash and it will give you the option to pick the record ID and knowledge from this table. You can pick any of the columns, pick any of the related tables, pick their columns. You can also test the summary right here in the preview experience prior to applying it to the main forms for this table. It has gone ahead and provided the summary. Now let's say I would like to also include the payment type. To include that, in the instructions, I'll put a slash, pick my table, and pick my column, payment type, add it, test, done. The order was made via check. That's the payment type. I'll go ahead and apply this to my main forms for this table. It's done, it's applied. I'll go back to my orders view. Let's explore the order summary for this record. The payment type here is credit card. And here is the updated information that includes the payment type. Let's explore my customers page. Here, I have taken the prompt a few notches higher by providing some interesting instructions. Let's first see what this prompt does. I've asked it to generate a summary of this customer. It gives me details about the company, but beyond that, it also gives me details about orders that have been placed for this specific company. For company AA, there are two orders that have been placed. Now these details are not a part of the customers table. Rather, I have an orders table wherein I have a relationship to the customer table. Let's use the data exploration agent. Show orders for customer AA. This should go ahead and filter the orders. These two orders are for company AA. And that information is highlighted right here by the row summary. Now the question is, how did it do that? For my customer table, where I have the row summary applied, let's see the set of instructions that I provided. Summarize the data for that specific record. Also count total number of orders from the order table. That's the relationship. List the order details as a table and include the following properties from the order table. And also provide a link to the specific record in the order table. I have a total of four orders for this customer. The data entry agent. My customers page showcases all my customer information. Let me go ahead and add a new customer. Now I have to go and type in all the values, which is fine, but there are scenarios where I already have the customer information available which I can copy and paste right here and the data entry agent will interpret the data and go and fill the form. This is known as smart paste. I have an email here from Sarah that says we've onboarded a new customer called Contoso. I will literally go ahead, copy the email body, control C, Go back to the new form experience, open the data entry agent, and right here, control V. The data entry agent does its magic. From my clipboard data, it's gone ahead and identified the values that should be mapped to the different fields. You can see the source of the suggestion. It's picked address right here based upon my unstructured text that I provided. That's the first name. That's the business phone. 
I can go ahead and accept or reject these suggestions. I can also accept suggestions in bulk. And just like that, it's gone ahead and filled out my form. I'll try and add the customer again. One option is copy paste. The other option, you can simply upload a file. These are the current file formats that are supported. I have an image of that email that I received that I'm simply uploading to the data entry agent and it's gone ahead and done all the mapping. This saves me, the end user who is filling the form, considerable amount of time. I'll go ahead, save and close, saves the record, and just like that, a new record got added to my customer table. For makers and administrators who are going to ask the question, how do I enable this for my model-driven apps? or for my Dynamics apps. Here in my environment, go to your environment settings, product, features. This is where we can enable these features. AI form fill. This default is on. These are the settings for the data entry agent. The data exploration agent. Natural Language Grid and View Search. The Visualization Agent option is right here. And the Summary Agent feature is AI Inside Cards. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.